Life in Regency England by R. J. White offers a captivating exploration of the social, cultural, and economic dimensions of the early 19th century in England, commonly known as the Regency era. Through meticulous research and vivid storytelling, White takes readers on a journey back in time to a period characterized by its unique blend of elegance and upheaval. One of the central themes in White's work is the stark contrast between the upper and lower classes in Regency England. The author skillfully navigates the nuances of this societal divide, shedding light on the opulent lifestyles of the aristocracy and the harsh realities faced by the working class. Through detailed descriptions of fashion, architecture, and leisure activities, White paints a vivid picture of the glittering world of the nobility. At the same time, he doesn't shy away from depicting the squalor of the urban poor, illustrating the glaring inequalities that defined the era. White's portrayal of the Regency period's fashion and etiquette is particularly illuminating. He delves into the intricacies of clothing, emphasizing how one's attire was not merely a matter of personal preference but a crucial marker of social status. The meticulous attention paid to dress and decorum underscores the obsession with appearances during this era, where even the smallest details of one's attire were subject to scrutiny. This focus on external propriety was a reflection of the rigid social hierarchies that governed Regency England. Furthermore, White provides a comprehensive analysis of the role of women in Regency society. He discusses the limited options available to women, especially those of the upper classes, who were often expected to prioritize marriage and motherhood over personal ambitions. Through the lens of literature and art, White highlights the complex and often contradictory ideals of femininity prevalent in the period. While women were expected to embody qualities of delicacy and refinement, they also played a vital role in the social and political machinations of the time. This duality is exemplified by characters like Jane Austen's Elizabeth Bennet, who challenges societal norms while navigating the marriage market. In Life in Regency England, White also delves into the political landscape of the era. He provides a comprehensive overview of the Napoleonic Wars and their profound impact on English society. The constant threat of invasion and the mobilization of resources for the war effort had far-reaching consequences, leading to economic shifts, changes in labor practices, and the emergence of a burgeoning middle class. White skillfully weaves these historical events into the broader narrative, demonstrating how politics and society were inextricably intertwined during the Regency period. The author's discussion of literature and the arts is another noteworthy aspect of the book. He examines the works of influential writers such as Jane Austen and Lord Byron, placing them in the context of their time. White astutely observes that literature during the Regency era often served as a mirror to society, reflecting its values, aspirations, and contradictions. The novels of Austen, for instance, offered incisive social commentary while also providing a form of escapism for readers. White's prose is both engaging and informative. His narrative style seamlessly blends historical facts with anecdotes and personal accounts, making the book accessible to both scholars and casual readers. Moreover, his attention to detail and his ability to evoke the sights, sounds, and smells of Regency England bring the era to life on the page. In conclusion, Life in Regency England by R. J. White offers a multifaceted exploration of a pivotal period in English history. Through its examination of class divisions, fashion, gender roles, politics, and the arts, the book provides readers with a comprehensive understanding of the complexities and contradictions that defined the Regency era. White's meticulous research and engaging storytelling make this work an invaluable resource for anyone interested in the history and culture of 19th-century England.
It is a testament to the enduring fascination of this era and its enduring relevance in our understanding of the past.